I would be actually the only man out here towards B and actually the full push gonna come through from Heretic the Rover will fall initially to the utility 22 HP though only B's done his job he's brought it to a 4v4 yeah he's done pretty well already now spike to be planted let's look at the post plants very briefly already actually AKM has found oh, an element dude I, I I almost forgot the element in his roster and now I will not forget I promise you element scares the life out of me of a player not someone I'm super aware of, but to Vic, they're going to just close down Rubino. Nice, comfortable retake. And when you had Element just kind of cracking it open, <laughs> woof, woof, I'm, I'm loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> yeah, man, this is going to be a fun game, right? Because as you said, we saw probably the lower end of Wally skin I did not recognize. I was like, what is that for a second? But there we go. There's the Guardian. Hello, Evova. How's that feeling? Now that's going to give away the game. They should oh, hit that rotation pretty soon because now all that utility poured forward and only we can only do so much. There is only so much to be able to be done. It'd be nice to see them try and fall back, but maybe feeling that kind of lobby was compromised. But for now, still a dangerous round here. Indeed. It's okay, now we'll find Nuki and that brings Heretics down to three, but why can I go down? Actually, Lowell in a really good position here, but there you go. The double swing too strong from OG on this retake. And actually, Rubino going to find two kills for himself. Brings it down to a 1v1. He has the Hunter's Fury, but he needs to reposition if he wants to rely on that in this scenario. See now, actually, yeah, he's going to pop it. First tag evades him, and actually, he's going to pull it away. He does have the recon now, and important to note, it wasn't a half defuse come through there, so he's going to get the audio cue that it wasn't a half. He does catch it. The recon's going to ping out, going to give the information across to him that he came out of the smoke as well. Rubino playing this perfectly, but Onko swings, finds the kill, the third on the round. Already got the half defuse, so that will come through with ease. Really nice play there from Onko. And it is. Spike now planted. Oh, actually, look at this. So the double jump out. Um, okay, yeah, kill's coming through thick and thin for OG here. Actually, it brings it down to a 3v2. Two players tagged up, though. Lowell will find Tavik on the flank. But the defuse is coming all the way through. He's got half red already. The satchel! The satchel was so good. It, it booped him off. Bonked him off. It's a lobby area. That's going to be a bit of an issue. Just because you can create a nice cross around the exit. There's one part of it. And yeah, he's got no one to worry about on the flank. He could just purely pay attention to that side. He doesn't know that, though. 13 seconds on the board, and there ain't much room to be had here to Vic on the side does well to find Rubino that is a spike down and loose yeah, uncle tries to make the play lovely off angle for lol there just keeping that safe three seconds two whereas the spike it's down 2v2 now lol on the swing gets found and now the 1v2 begins a vova can't do enough akm finding the valuable shot at the end with that op uh, just to talk about this push early on from og i love it it's, it's a three-man stack over on this site the Vic playing back on stairs with the hunt problem you should run. And there we go. Killjoy all coming in. Does it get destroyed yet? You can see the spam on it. And it's still going to be going through. Rubino has found one as well on the approach. And it looks like Heretics will be getting into this now. Tavik's kind of in all kinds of trouble. He can't do too much about it. And a good attempt to try and take it down. It looked yeah. on, but not to be. I'm not entirely sure myself how that didn't come down, but... Spike planted. 11 seconds left. Spike will go down. Heretics... Retain control and they're playing deep enough here that it's going to make it even more difficult for OG to try and retake this. Lockdown available, revive available, blade storm available, but going to need a kill now if they want to even attempt this. It looks like they're just opting to play exits for the time being. Careful. Try and do some damage. Nuki actually going to find their cam and that's the operator Warrior down. So that's standing. the worst of all of them to lose, to be quite honest with you. Element now. Much left to do. Heretics will close this one out. Four will live, so... Boost the wall not going to work out. <laughs> a bit awkward. But Unko's going to have to buy time. That is the main port of call for him here. I mean, why is... I don't love this presence in middle still. I, I, I'd i rather Tavik pushed up a little bit, try to get proactive. They're on the site, man. Yeah. They're, it's like they're playing blind a little late to respond to this. And if Tavik had carried on, there was a Sage already waiting on the other side, to be fair, which would have made a hard element trying to hit that fade away real quick on Pora, but not going to get it. Spike now down. A retaking with an op is traditionally incredibly tricky. There's, yeah, I would be actually going to swing out. Okay, and we'll find one as well. But again, he's the last man standing and we'll miss that one. And that's the operator off. The cards have been positioned well enough towards Heretics leaning this side of the map. P gonna come out on top of Jen. AKM will cancel that one. And actually, a Hunter's Fury in response here. Oh, AKM. 
It's not been a good start. Only B's in a bad spot as well. Nookie's just walked on in and said, hey, this site's mine right now. So if you want to back away a little bit, that'd be cool. Of over keeping it safe too. And there we go. Securing the third. It was against Cherish, but it was pretty. Up to the other. Trying to find some information. I mean, this time around, they're actually hanging around. Kind of pressure around where OG have got this kill. Aura's going to find Tavik. AKM swings out of heaven and Nuki's actually just going to immediately shut him down. So once again, Heretic's immediately out. flipping that man advantage back in their favor. Yeah. Spike going down now. Uncontested. 21 HP on Aura is pretty low, but it's, it's operational. But that's a problem now. Here we go. Suddenly it's all gone a bit bit Pete Tong. Lord's got the trade coming out. Res is around. Up we go. To Vix there. 3v3 now on the playback through. He still need the wall. Look at this Hello. flank coming in. This is going to be the biggest issue. Rubino around the back. Two huge kills. And that has just completely displaced everything that was building. Rubino again putting up wonderful numbers. Unko can merely try and pick his poison. There is no good choice here. And Lol's going to put him out of his misery. But that... Well, again, the wall is on a timer, which is... Okay, I'm going to opt to hop over the top of that. you got to be careful that second player posted inside. The position's not noted right now of Avova. Nuki will find Tevik, though, drawing first blood. Here. Spike down now. 5v4. Post plant. You can see OG just battening down the hatches. Trying to create the crossfire. Four players going to try and play back in here through heaven now. Actually, that's not bad from Element. Isolating Nuki is going to kind of keep all eyes turned now towards this. You can see the smoke's coming in to try and disperse some of that vision towards the top side. Four is there, but not getting the star he wanted. And this is going to become a bit scary now. OG getting pressure, but Onko's done well, but poor on the quick trade. <laughs> Fourth, we go in down to a 1v1. And there it is. Only V waiting below. Just had to plant onto A. They're still wary of the possibility. Somebody 30 seconds here. left. Dino's you know, got perfect audio cues until almost work from him. Quick. Gets a little bit of chip damage for it. Retake mostly coming through heaven again. OG looking pretty established in this, so I'm kind of okay with this. Only B can take, I guess, first contact if needed. Problem is now. Losing that vision, going to keep him a little smothered here. Going to force the others to face. Now only B does get overwhelmed. Of over just leaps in on the site. Oh, oh, a sketchy no. spray down. It wasn't pretty. Lowell is there. And the defuse comes in. Now the flank's coming around, but timing is everything. He's still sticking the defuse. No one has stopped him yet. And there's the defensive side picking it up. Quite surprising they've been allowed to get that far. And yeah, Lowell's found Unko. This is... Uh, okay, they've got Jet in the off angle, I guess. That's something to maybe play with. But even now, smoked off. Oh, gee. These guns... Hoping to keep people at range, but here comes that retake, kind of rolling in like a wave. You can see him clearing on the way through. They want to keep that side cornered off. They don't want any of that trouble from that corner. Which is where Jet would be. Tivix can be the first one there. Vova offers himself up for the trade, which Rubino capitalizes on. And this is where all falls apart, and now suddenly it doesn't look so good. That's 11 now on the board, and that was on the weaker buy. Yeah, and in terms of economy, I mean, now the round score is going to go to 11-5. That's a big win for Heretics to make the push to close this map out. No one to be found. The problem here, again, Heretic's playing this perfectly, anticipating the rush, not giving away a kill on entry. And that's the OG boxed up heavily towards sight him. We know how difficult it is if you can't maintain control outside switch and outside market door. We're not going to send the recon bolt in. Nuki now breathing down OG's neck. Here we go. Game on for the retake. Nice work from Nuki again. Does he just spam into the corner? No, he goes to the right side. But now with the wall down, let's see if he can maybe get only be dead. He does for the trades there. No worries. Two still stand. The good thing is, though, I mean, only Bladestorm invested. So you got to credit OG there. Again, there wasn't this kind of desperation to secure that round and start popping ultimates unnecessarily. So they do still have a couple of tools at their disposal. There's one of them off the board immediately. And it's a spy evidence. Oh, that's a problem. Lol's actually going to go ahead of the wall. They don't expect it, but they still pick it up. Element. Rifle locked and loaded. Okay for him. But it's heretics from across the board. They're making this crunch. Look at the flank. Vova went all the way around the back. And now here we go. The stranglehold in full effect. AKM just had to watch his team got annihilated. He gets one, but it's all for nothing. Actually, some early A aggression here in the pistol round. 
Yeah, let's see. I'm gonna go all the way out. Actually, gonna isolate this kill. What? Okay, owner to be. We'll get caught off outside showers. I mean, the smoke goes down a market there. The information surely got to be relayed that the potential push was coming through. They weren't quiet about it at all, Lauren. Oh, no, there was no subtlety to this. Just going to block off the quicker rotation if there was ever going to be one through the TP. But I like the play coming out from the Cypher here. Falling away, playing safe, buying time. Doesn't need to die for this. Just needs to keep some of the site safe for that retake to come in. Four players have to make their way around as they do. Yeah, and the rotation actually going to come through in full before the spike goes down. Over and Pora will find two kills now outside. AKM just escapes that recon ping. Won't find the second though. Rubino trades it out. So Tavik finds himself in a 1v4 now. Over very quick to clear that one out with the frenzy. And yeah, I'm just baffled. A, how that kill was able to be isolated onto Onabi. Uh, again, I'm not sure if you caught it because the power. Well. Wait it out. All right. Pile in. Let's see how we go. Do we get a spike plant? Do we get. Woo! We get two kills. Apparently, the format. Okay. Unko somehow got into TP and yep. shuts off that rotation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, this is how it, this is according to the script. Um, playing back in on a marshal, of course, retaking with these weapons, notoriously tricky, but that one, not so tricky. Ooh, Nuki just doing it in style and now tradable kills, boys. Nuki, that's a little sketchy for me, but it worked. It worked fine. It wasn't going to be tradable if he didn't swing around in that corner, but no problem they get it done no matter what yeah i mean they got three kills og and a spike plant so not yeah. bad oh, in terms of so gonna be a long rotate or a tp to be taken for the omen and the rays there we go sounds quite obvious they know what's coming their way three towards hookah that's gonna be a vova fine only be already and there's an aid as well og being just destroyed on the way out and actually, Showstopper are going to get popped. We'll do a little bit of damage, but no kill comes through. There you go. Heretics clean up with these. Pora and Lowell combined with the Spectres there. Put a third round on the board. And once again, I mean, OG. Play stacked towards A. So at this point, Nuki should be able to get a, maybe even one more. No, the crossfire from Avova is going to do it. And look at him. Completely and utterly unpressured, unfazed. He put a smoke down walls there. He's not going to get any eyes towards him for a couple of seconds. Focuses towards showers and dismantles the push almost single-handedly there off the back of Nookie's first pick. Yeah, OG got to try and find something here, but the, the stack is so heavy from Heretics. The setup is so good to deal with any push on Nuki actually repositioning outside showers leaving Ona be the last man standing for OG here like Heretics will post their sixth round with relative ease I'll be honest left. it's um it's a masterclass from Heretics right now yeah they're not looking like they're breaking much of a sweat here which as said I would have dismantled the stack at least no. But that's, yeah, there, there, there it goes. They've, they've committed a little too far now. That spike is kind of cornered. They can't cross that out easily. They have no way to do that. The Omen might need to leave the TP just to bail out. So over here. Other, oh, maybe not. Okay, this is going to be Nuki having a great day. Tavik's going to find him. But by now, the position's noted. Everything's been found out. And yeah, okay, no one's pushed yet. Okay, stay chill, guys. Stay towards A. They haven't come out yet, so I'm good. Left. Now Dorian going to spot one out. Element will actually get Unko back on his feet inside hookup. The trap wire going to catch to Vic there. Potentially be able to get the plant down here, but 14 seconds. You have to scramble something because the rotation's already coming through from Heretics. Left. Definitely on the way. And Avova's the first one to find it. Now we're going to have to look towards the two remaining on the opposition opposition see what they're up to kind of pinned on the site not very complimentary angles and dug out of them by Avova and Pora this is light work it looks like for heretics these retakes are well versed they plan it I mean if you're gonna solo this here okay maybe not I was really hoping that they might try and start challenging Pora I know that's that almost sounds silly but they need some more space on this kind of post plant I feel yeah um, I hate them being stuck towards the site itself. I really wish they'd either stack out on long, something something other than sitting this much towards the site. But let's see what the plan's like here. At least they have a 5v5 this time around, but the utility's still good for the retake inside. Heretics now spamming their way through. You see uh, so many avenues of approach, but Element finds Pora quickly. Nookie's going to just lean out. Oh my word, Nookie, that's wild stuff with the frenzy. But by now it's a 1v3. OG might have just finally cracked the code. That was a fantastic player, but there's no time. 
A kill on the way is all it'll get. And there it is. First one on the board. Not just yet. Yeah, he's going to go for the plant now. But the Hunter's Fury going to get popped in response. One hiding. You see, that's just going to cause some chaos on site. But actually, Tavik and Odebi going to combine for two kills. Got to be careful. He's got to work his way out of this position now with the operator swings across with the satchel. He was considering the no scope. They're still going to find the kill. They're only be fools. But you know, will respond to the Vic as well. Look at that. AKM will fall and. Oh. Oh. Is this keyboard stuck again? Hi, Pork. What's happened there with this keyboard? Uh, Do we need a tactical? Rubino. Maybe just lagging a little bit there. It looks like he was stuck on something. Kind of crouch under. Woman's going to push through. Doesn't work. Look at this. I. Just total I, map control. Yeah, I mean, Remaining. they've cleared everywhere. It's like, oh, it's probably back of showers, maybe by spawn left. somewhere. You can have, you know, Sova try and lend a hand, get a little fact-finding going. But look, he's got the angle now, and that's a spike. So, great work from Honeybee. Stunner of a shot. <laughs> I mean, that's... You don't see that every day, but... Okay, a 1v5. 14 seconds. It's not looking real good, but... There it is, nine to one, and you're right. I mean, that was just pure domination there. Well, Nuki responds with a kill. OG find themselves in a 4v4 after Element brings for it. Down once again. Recon Bolt actually going to reveal two players' positions there. Element will come out of the better. This is Lao. Nuki once again trying to find something with the Operator, but AKM quickly stamps that out. You gonna check that corner over? Nope. Nope. Player standing. Got it. Not right. even a little bit. Not even a little bit. <laughs> All right, this could be two on. What? Oh, my stream first. Yep, same here. I hope. I hope that was two on the board. We almost had a minute. They've left. Right, around we go. Quick rotations. Big. This could be a little bit more fun. We've got a quick flank coming on. We might have the rays trying to catch that one, but up Ooh, towards nice heaven. Job. A bit of damage, it does sound as though you are back with me. I am indeed. Poor, I will find AKM there. Heretics trying to push all the way on. I'm going to Vic actually going to respond with kills of their own. To Vic actually gets the spin onto Rubino there. Tactical Crouch coming back to bite him. Low now. He all the way behind default. Trying to play this very aggressively here. I think they've noted pretty much all three members of OG's position. Aldrone going to definitely spy out Lowell's position. Bova goes hunting through lamps, so the smoke down. They're going to try and stick this defuse through. Unko, actually. Halfway. Yeah, that's the half defuse, and actually, Lowell goes <gasps> in. He's going to find it. Ten seconds left for his heal to come back, though, and the second tap comes through. He knows they've got the half of the audio cue. He doesn't oh. peek. He doesn't bite. God, Lowell. Does he go for the second? Oh, he's hard steps. Oh, my word. Is there time on this, Unko? I'm not sure if there is. I think you might just have this, you... And again, really, this uh, triple stack over towards A from OG makes me feel as if I don't want to see them give away an early kill and play the five-man retake once again. But AKM shuts down all three members. Rubino of over and Nuki all fall there. One enemy remaining. Okay, we'll clean up. Oh, and Lowell there, so... That sound cue, so they know that's a fake. They can potentially isolate both of these players here. Unko swings out. Actually going to find one. Hunter's Fury... Come up to maybe try and reinforce this a little bit. The res comes through. This is huge. Unko's going to force through. He gets a Vova back down, but Lowell trades it. Going for the res player rather than the one doing the resing. Not too sure, but I guess you're going to take where you can get. But Tivik again trying to keep this one together. How? Okay. How? How did that not? I don't understand, but it's a 2v2 left. plant coming in now. Poor are going to be at the back of sight. You have in the cubby as well, one of the players. Tivik. Oh, that's a, <laughs> that is a frustrating wall, but there is a nice little vandal as an upgrade. Now look at that post plant. I like what the Cypher's done there. Just shift away towards long. Do they clear their corners meticulously? It's going to be pretty integral now. This has to happen. This will force the hand of one. Now they know. But the crossfire, is it in place? Eyes on the Cypher. On the swing here. As soon as contact comes in, it's poor obviously to get the first. And now LOL should play in off the back of this. There it is. Both facing the kill this time around. Playing in right about now. Unko's timing's going to be interesting here. Yeah, he gets caught off guard. Nuki just works his way forward, and now that's a big problem. They are ahead of where they were expecting. Exactly the wall comes up, and there we go. The olds come out. They know exactly where everybody is. No surprise this time. No cheeky Tavik plays coming around to catch him off guard. No oh, cheeky plays at all by this matter. Five still stand. Barely a point of damage done to heretics. 
Yeah, and Nuki did spot AKM's position here. Actually, the nade going to flush him off that angle initially. Try and get this operator off the board as well. The jump peak's coming out for boards. It's the perfect bait. Nuki closes that one out. We go again. OG. AKM's position, but they do still try and clear it out with a shock doll. Maybe that was to do with the trap. But Lowell just swings on top of it. AKM will fall. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, Heretics. Actually, find two kills on the way. Rubino finds one of the shock dart as well. Just to Vic left to deal with. You have to call upon to Vic to do something again to try and buy them some time. A little bit of chip damage, but it's not a lot. Now, the spike can go down. I like this move from Aboba to take control as well towards that elbow position, but look at them pouring towards the side. Here we go. Oh, Rez comes out. Nookie's back up. There's problems galore now. Everyone's oh, dead, no. and now it's just down to one, and it's the judge as well trying to work with this. Is not comfortable by any means trying to bait the angle, but just wants a different gun, man. Let him have some time to work, but surrounded all fronts of Ovo kelp the flank.